mean it. Anyway. Right. <laughs> I, I'm not withholding the mean, I wouldn't say. I think what's really interesting, you said it earlier, this is, um, this is a, a, a sort of a coming of age story in a lot of ways uh, around Daphne. Um, and it's an amazing story of a young person who's an orphan who is struggling to identify herself. And she has these two sort of proxy figures in her life, this uncle and this, this woman. Um, Miss Coulter, who fell in his proxy parents, it seems, for a while. Um, and she's trying to understand herself through them. I disappear, I run away. Daphne's trying to sort of understand this, this slippery, mercurial, quixotic figure of Mrs. Coulter as well. And we're so, so difficult to get a hold of. This girl just needs to get a hold of something. And it's just so compelling. And if we aren't, if we don't withhold, if we aren't mean, which is so crazy, isn't it? That like, a kid is going to love the person that treats them mean, you know? It's like, because it's just it's someone, you know? It's just heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, we do have to be really mean. My my demon's a snow leopard, I'm completely solitary and, and <laughs> I'm a predator, do you know what I mean? I'm hardly, I'm hardly cuddly, I'm going to give out, you know, bedtime stories. Um, but yeah, he's, 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 got a, he's got a very important mission, this whole thing in many ways. You said again, it's a coming of age story. It kind of, the story won't work unless she comes of age. Um, and that's, I mean, that plays into the themes of the whole thing. The whole thing is about freedom. And Lord Asriel is all about attaining that freedom for everyone on a grand, grand scale that we won't give away right now. But he'll sacrifice any love in his life for that goal, for that purpose. And some little girl that he keeps an eye on sometimes, he'll, um, yeah, he'll put that second.